Hey folks, welcome to another how-to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do powers, square root, and other roots in this particular calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this particular video, what we're going to be looking at is how to solve questions like this. 3 to the power of 7, square root of 42, and the fifth root of 17. So these are the three questions that we're going to be looking at for this particular video. So to figure out uh, 3 to the power of 7, what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the calculator and go into the calculate mode. And in here, we're going to write uh, 3 to the power of 7. Now, there is this button. This is mainly the button we're going to be using for 3 to the power of 7. But what you can do is, there's two ways to do this. You can click on this, and then you'll see two boxes coming up. So you put 3 as the base and 7 as the power and you would get 2187 as the answer. Now that's one way of doing this. The second way of doing this would be simply to do it this way. So you just click on 3 and you would click on the power button and it'll automatically put um, the 3 as the base and then now you'd be able to put the 7 in and you're going to get uh, 2187. It just kind of makes it a speedy process rather than pressing this um, and then kind of going 3 and 7. You know. Either way, whichever way is easier for you, stick with it. Now, to find out what square root of 42 is, we are going to use the square root button here. And in that case, we're just going to click on the square root button, and we're going to click on 42. Now, if you remember, this calculator currently is set up as um, maths output, but we actually want this to be a decimal. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on shift equals and that's going to give us the answer as a decimal. For this particular example, I'm going to use three decimal places. What if you were asked to do the fifth root of 17? For that one, what you need to do is you need to click on shift square root. Because right there, when you do shift square root, you're going to see a two boxes appearing. So the first box, which is actually outside the square root, now that's the 5, so we're going to put in 5. And then we're going to go into the box itself, which is the number inside the square root, which in this case is 17. And once we do that, we actually get 1.762. Now, of course, just kind of keeping an eye on the rest of the buttons, because you do have a squared button right there. So if you want to do 5 squared, you wouldn't actually go 5, the power button, squared, because that's like an extra button that you're pressing. But instead, what you would do is you would just go 5 and then squared, that's right next to the power button, and then that does the same thing, but it's just a little bit faster. Likewise, you also have uh, anything to the power of negative 1 is the shift power button. So if I say, let's say I go 9, and I go 9 to the power of negative 1, uh, that's going to give me 1 over 9. So folks, uh, for any time you're using powers or you're using square root and then other roots, you're pretty much kind of using these two buttons here. But if you're doing uh, square numbers, then you're going to be using this button. So that's just a quick little video to show you folks how to use um, this calculator when it comes to powers, square roots, and other roots.